If you're watching this right now, I want to say thank you for tuning in. And I know that you want to know how to go to heaven. Well, the Bible says this, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believe upon Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Did you know that God loves you? That before the foundation of the earth that He was thinking of you? And then the Bible tells us that Jesus Christ went to the cross just for you. He died in your place. He became sin for us so that we can be reconciled back to God. The Bible tells us in Romans 3, verse 23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That means there's not one person who has walked this earth besides Jesus who has not sinned. And therefore, because of sin, we need a Savior. And Jesus is the way, He's the truth, and He's the life. He's the one who paid the price that we could never pay because He had a perfect life of without sin. His blood was perfectly shed for you and for me. And that's good news. That's what the gospel is about. It's good news that you don't have to go to hell because 2,000 years ago, Jesus paid the price. Now you're probably wondering, how can I receive this gift of salvation? Romans 10 verse 6 says this, But the righteousness based on faith says, Do not say in your heart, Who will ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down, or who will descend into the abyss? That is to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith that we proclaim. Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. That's Romans 10, 6 through 10. The Bible is telling us that the way to salvation is to confess with your mouth and to believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. See, you were led to this video on purpose. You were led not by accident. It wasn't just because you saw a reel or a short or whatever, and now you're watching this. No, God has called you, God is leading you, and God wants to save you. The Bible tells this in Ephesians 5 verse 8, For at one, one time you were in darkness, but now you are in the light of the, of the Lord. Walk as children of light. In other words, once you receive Jesus as your Savior, which we're going to pray right now, and we're going to receive Jesus as your Savior, you will now transition from the darkness into the light. And that's good news. So like the Bible says, you must confess with your mouth, you must believe in your heart. So right where you're at, I want you to pause everything. I want you to stop and I want you to say this out loud and believe it in your heart. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me for all my sins. I believe that you are my Lord and my Savior and that God raised you from the dead on the third day. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for me. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Give me a compassion for the lost and a hunger for the things of God. Now say this as loud as you can. I'm saved, I'm born again, and I'm on my way to heaven because I believe in Jesus Christ. Now if you just said that prayer, I want you to know that the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 that if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You're now a new person. You're a new man or a new woman. You're a new creation in Christ Jesus. Praise God for that. All of heaven is rejoicing right now because of your decision that you just made today. Isn't that amazing? And so I want to encourage you that you need to take some next steps. And so you need to find a church that believes the Bible. They believe the Bible to the fullest. They believe uh, in the baptism of the Holy Spirit, divine healing, everything. This is a time where you need to believe uh, the full counsel of the Bible. So if you have a trouble finding a church, you can reach out to me on Instagram or you can reach out on Facebook and I'll help you try to locate a church. But also, you need to begin to read your Bible on a daily basis. We can help you get on a daily Bible reading plan. And we want to help you read your Bible. If you don't have access to a Bible, we can try to send you one. But I'm sure you can get it right there on the web because you're watching this online. Isn't that great? And then also, you need to begin to pray. And one of those things is, well, how do I pray? Well, that's great. Subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, and we're going to teach you how to pray. We're going to teach you how to walk in the power of God. We're going to teach you how to get healed and everything else. This is why we put this together, to reach you. So thank you in advance 
for subscribing. I want to welcome you to the kingdom of God officially. You are a child of God. Continue to run to God and not from Him because He has a wonderful plan for your life.